Number 65. An important source of copper is from the copper ore, calco. Calcokite? Okay. Which is a form of copper 1 sulfide. When heated, the Cu2S decomposes to form copper and sulfur described by the following equation, which is Cu2S solid yields Cu solid plus S solid, which I also put over here. So now for letter A, we have to determine the delta G notch for the decomposition of Cu2S. Now, we can't do this equation without going in the back of a textbook to find out the delta G values for each individual component. So for Cu2S solid has a delta G of negative 86.2. For copper, it's zero. Sulfur is also zero. Now I can do that because I do see that there's a notch here, and that just means standard. Standard is at 1 atm and 298.15 Kelvin. But now what am I going to do with these values? Well, the formula for the overall delta G is this formula right here. Right? Delta G of the whole entire reaction equals the sum. So all we got to do is just add up, add up all the products and subtract by the sum of all of the reactants. But first, just make sure that you have the right amount of moles. But for this one, seems like we just have to balance the equation. There's two coppers here, which means that I have to put a two in front of here. Sneaky on their part. But now, since it's balanced, I just take my moles, aka the coefficient values. Keep in mind that there's only one Cu2S, there's only one S and two coppers. So I just times those numbers, because that's how many I have, by the values that I found in the back of the book. So one times this, two times zero, one times zero. And just to show you, you would add, right, the sum, you would add up the product side, but zero and zero is just zero. And one times a negative 86.6.2 is a negative 86.2. So you can kind of see that the delta G for the whole entire reaction would be the sum of the products, which is zero, minus the sum of the reactants, which is a negative 86.2, so the overall delta G for this reaction would be a positive 86.2, right? If you do negative minus a negative 86.2, it turns out to being a positive. A negative with a negative keep change change, right? Units here, since we times by the coefficients, those are your moles. So the moles will cancel out and you're left with just kilojoules. And that is the first part of this question. Determine the delta G standard, 86.2. It's a non-spontaneous reaction. And that's it for this part. So hang tight because there's two more parts coming your way. And if you guys are on the playlist, which I highly recommend you guys are, I'll see you in about five seconds. In the meantime, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Just gets the word out there that this channel exists. And I will see you in a little bit. Okay, bye-bye.